One of my favorite family memories is when my dad would cook Croatian palachinkas for dinner. All of us kids would get so excited that dad was cooking palachinkas because it was like dessert for dinner. Hi everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Chef Fred's Corner. I'm Chef Fred. Today, we're gonna highlight traditional recipes of our residents that they made, making memories with their families, and shared with everyone that they love. Today, we are going to uh, feature Millie Bozizovic, who lives in our Strongsville uh, community. Millie is Croatian, and she gave us a recipe that's called palachinka, which is crepes, which uh, they're Croatian crepes. These crepes are very easy to make. You have to make the batter, but this recipe, you have to let it sit for 30 minutes, the batter, before you prepare. Uh, Millie uh, gave us this recipe that we're gonna make for you today. It's very simple, easy ingredients. All right, the first we're gonna start with the eggs. We have three eggs for this recipe. We're gonna crack the three eggs in here. Again, it's a very easy recipe. This will make probably about 10 palachikas crepes. Then we're gonna add a third cup of club soda cup of milk and we're going to whisk these together real well. Okay, now we're going to add our flour, which is a cup of flour. I'm going to whisk some of that in a little bit at a time. And you want to get this to where most of the lumps are, are gone, but it can still be just a slight lumpy. And add the rest of the flour. We're going to add a half teaspoon of salt. Should I iron it out here? Now this recipe, the the ingredients, the, the batter needs to be real loose. So if you need to add a little more soda or milk, you can. And if it gets too loose, you can add a little more flour. But the consistency you want is pretty much like this. So after this is made, you want to cover with saran wrap and let it sit for 30 minutes before you start preparing your crepes. So I'm going to set this here, wrap the one I made ahead of time. Butter in the pan and canola oil. It's probably a half teaspoon of canola oil. All right, so we're gonna put, not a whole lot, probably like a third cup of batter. Just a bit. You wanna take it all the way out to the edges. about a minute, minute and a half on each side till it browns nice. You flip it over and the same time for that side. This is a fun, fun uh, recipe you could do with your kids, your grandkids. They'll enjoy your whole family. It's good breakfast. It's good for lunch. You know, these crepes can be filled with fruit, jams, savory sweet, you know, which we did make a, a dish here with savory sweet that I'll show you. Good. It's delicious. 
see the color on that? It's exactly how you want it to be. You know, these crepes are just like a blank canvas that can be filled with anything that you really enjoy to put in them. Traditionally, it's fruits, jams, and cheese, but we have some savory dishes too that we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually in some Nutella. We're gonna put some Nutella on here. Another what we could do is with jams, uh, what I like to do too is I want to use a soft uh, brie cheese, which is very good. Put the brie on the bottom and we'll add some of our savory. This is a mixture we made with onions, uh, sliced baby bellas. Uh, Red onion, sliced baby bellas. We put a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette inside here, and a little bit of, a very little bit of brown sugar, and then he heavy cream to make a nice mixture of some salt. And I added some spinach to it as well. Next, another one that I like to do that's savory. I like to take the crepe, add some more of the brie cheese. And I add ham to it. Some ham. Some spinach. A little more brie cheese on the top of the cart. Fold this over.
this one. There you go. You have three different styles. Um, you know, with, with the fruit, I like to top it with powdered sugar. And then with our savory, we can top this with the mushrooms. All right, so we're done. So the best thing to do is our, grab our wine. What goes well with crepes is white wine. I have a Chardonnay here. And as they say in Croatia, gingile, which is cheers.